Hi sweethearts! This week's vlog is an abstract expressionist painting, meaning that for me it's about the performative act of creating the painting that is important, rather than the image that I ended up with. Which is lucky, because the final canvas turned out looking like shit. <laughs> I am definitely going to do at least one more layer on top, if not more, and just use this as the bottom layer to a final artwork. So anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit more about abstract expressionism and why this type of work inspires me. As you know from some of my previous videos, I'm an artist with disabilities, many of those revolving around mental health. For me, I find abstract expressionism to be an easy, low-stress art form that can be started quickly, finished quickly, and if you're skilled, you can create something incredibly beautiful. Many people think it's easy artwork that anyone could do, and that makes it unworthy of respect, but I totally disagree. Firstly, it is very difficult to create an abstract work that is aesthetically pleasing based on the maths of beauty or the golden ratio, which we as humans tend to judge most beauty by naturally. You won't see that in this video, it's more of a fail on how not to paint, never overwork your canvas. Secondly, art is a language that has to be learned, like any other dialect, and abstract art is worth learning to communicate with. Pablo Picasso said, the world doesn't make sense, so why should I paint pictures that do? Piet Mondrian said, all painting, the painting of the past as well as of the present, shows us that its essential plastic means were only line and colour. Leslie Dick said, the work you do as an artist is really play, but in the most serious sense. Like when a two-year-old discovers how to make a tower out of blocks, it's no half-hearted thing. You are materialising, taking something from the inside and putting it out into the world so you can be relieved of it. Those three quotes illustrate exactly why I enjoy abstract expressionism so much. It encourages freedom of expression, experimentation, and most importantly of all, it is so much fun and it makes me feel good. And isn't that what art is really about? Transforming the way we feel? So now that that's out of the way, can we please take a moment to appreciate the canvas at this point in time when it was still actually pretty? It doesn't stay this way for long, so appreciate it while you can. Right now, I was freaking out because everything was dripping off the canvas, which I hate. I hate wasting materials like that, as I really can't afford to spend that much on paints. Uh, I'm on the disability pension, so I do my best to salvage that and make the canvas a little more stable so it stays put. I do this by propping it up a bit with my palette knife. I was kind of going to try for a galaxy painting at this stage, as I felt the colours suited themselves to an outer space nebula type feel. And here is where it all starts to go wrong. I tried adding some white paint and swiping it across the canvas to see if I could get some cells popping up. But obviously I did it wrong and I ruined my painting in the process. So instead of stopping while I was ahead, I went ahead and swiped over and over and over until I destroyed everything and hated myself. That never takes very long. You can't see it very well but each time I swiped I did initially get kind of cool effects but only if you looked at it very closely on a macro scale. So I took some closer shots to show you. It does look pretty in a macro sense but that is not what I intended and it is not how the painting dried. The paint kept moving for a long while afterwards and all the effects I enjoyed disappeared. Unfortunate. But a good lesson in what not to do when you are abstract painting. Unless that's what you're going for. Maybe the painting is a performance. Maybe the enjoyment of doing the painting itself is the whole point of what you are going for. And often that is exactly what I'm going for. So all in all, I would call this a win because I painted. Anyway, thanks for watching this week's vlog. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment or subscribe. Thank you. Bye, sweethearts.